Elizabethtown police are volunteering their time to help victims of domestic violence. Through a task force that they are making visits to homes where issues were detected. Annalisa Gale spoke to police chief and members of the task force about the potentially life-saving measures. The Elizabethtown Police Department is hoping to help those affected by domestic violence before it is too late. I was choked. I had my hair pulled. I was called names. I was kicked to the ground. Alicia West was able to escape her abusive relationship with the help of a local shelter for domestic violence victims, United Way, and police. Under Chief Tracy Schiller, a task force is now in place to help those who experience domestic violence. So the idea for the team uh, was to go and knock on that door when these issues weren't going on. Five officers, including Andrea Heer and victims advocate Jocelyn Homan, make up the task force. They go to homes where police responded to numerous domestic violence calls. Unfortunately, I say we had a number of those. Some of them five, six, seven, eight more times. So we just try to address like, you know, we've been here. Um, we just want to see what can we offer you? You know, while, we're, while everything's calm, um, is there anything we can do to assist you through the problem? I give them places they can stay, people they can contact, um, counseling services that are available, uh, support groups, things that they can utilize to better assist. Last year, the agency saw a roughly 34% increase in the number of assaults reported in connection to domestic violence. You feel that you love this individual, but you don't understand why this individual hurt you. It's a tough situation to be in. Once you give the victim the knowledge of what's out there, how to do an emergency escape plan and things like that that are, that are gone over, um, yeah, I'd say it could save some lives. In Hardin County, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. Calls to report domestic violence are down about 10% since the task force began last year. For information about the resources available to domestic violence victims in Hardin County, visit our website at WLKY.com.